The Gorge isn't your typical love story. It's got passion, yes, but also guns, explosions, and some serious high-stakes mayhem. But we are here to have a deeper look at all the technological aspects of this 2025 sci-fi romantic action movie. Welcome to Galore Tex. Today we're diving into how The Gorge was brought to life. Directed by Scott Derrickson and starring Miles Teller and Anya Taylor-Joy, this Apple original blends intense action with surreal visuals and emotionally heavy moments. What really makes it pop, though, is the tech behind it, the practical stunts, the stylized cinematography, and how VFX was used to heighten the madness without drowning in it. Mind you, there's going to be some spoilers as we will break them down in the video. Anyways, let's begin. At the very heart of the movie is, as the title suggests, the gorge itself. A gorge isn't just a pretty landscape, it's deep, dangerous, and unpredictable. And in the movie, it's more than just scenery, it's a metaphor. It reflects the emotional highs and lows of the story, the tension between love and survival. It's where everything happens, fights, escapes, breakdowns, connections. The gorge is the movie. To capture that intensity, director Scott Derrickson, you might know him from Doctor Strange and The Black Phone, teamed up with a powerhouse cast. Miles Teller, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Sigourney Weaver. The visuals are a big part of the storytelling, and leading that charge was Eric Nordby, the production VFX supervisor. Production of this movie took place in a mix of real-world locations and sound stages, with cliffs, ledges, and harsh terrain recreated and enhanced by top-tier VFX studios like Framestore and DNEG. They didn't overdo it, just enough digital work to push reality not replace it. They built the tower interiors on stage at Warner Brothers Studios Leavesden, while the exterior scenery was from the Rauma River in Norway. Also, the scenes depicting Ayers in France were actually Landudno in Wales. With a budget of around $60 million, there was room to be ambitious, and it paid off. The Gorge premiered on Apple TV+, giving us a blend of raw emotion, intense action, and beautiful, brutal environments, crafted with both camera and code. Building the Gorge wasn't just a matter of imagination. It was a careful blend of science, art, and some clever VFX tricks. While the filmmakers had a general idea of what they wanted early on, it was the team at DNA Gay who took that concept and gave life to over 516 VFX shots. They started with real-world scans from Norway, using an open-source CG map of the country as a base. But the team didn't stop there. They pulled in visual cues from Greece and Bulgaria to give the gorge a more central European vibe, something rugged but believable. To make sure the environment felt geologically sound, they even brought geologists on board. Every cliff, rock and tree placement was checked to make sure it could actually exist in nature. That grounding in reality made the world feel immersive. But it also came with challenges. One of the toughest things was to make the gorge feel massive. In CG, things can easily look like miniatures. So they layered in fine details, depth haze, fog, and even some well-placed CG birds to trick the eye and sell the scale. Creating the massive explosion that obliterates the gorge and its towering structures was a major visual spectacle in the movie that blended real-world physics and some cinematic artistry. The visual effects team at DNEG, led by supervisors Anelia Asparuhova and Sebastian von Overheid, spearheaded this challenge. To make it look as realistic as possible, the team studied many nuclear explosions and their subsequent shockwaves. They discovered that, in real-life tests, shockwaves expand outward across flat terrains. But in case of the movie, shockwaves would funnel upwards and outwards, adapting to the enclosed environment. Why? because the explosion happens several hundred meters under. One of the primary challenges was conveying the sheer scale of the explosion. In computer-generated environments, there's a risk of scenes appearing miniature. To counter this, the team incorporated layers of detail, such as fog, depth haze, and even CG birds, to emphasize the vastness of the environment. When it came to designing the eerie hollow men of the gorge, Framestore went all out. The goal was to create creatures that looked like mutated humans fused with the forest, branches, moss, bark, and even a third eye. 
The process started with practical makeup on actor James Marlowe, who played the Alpha Hollow Man. But in the post-production, Framestore took things further. They preserved parts of the actor's face, like one eye and a cheek, but digitally replaced the rest with a fully CG creature that looked part human, part tree. To give the creature emotional depth, Framestore's Melbourne team used body tracking to match the performance. From eyebrows made of twisting bark to a third eye subtly repositioned for maximum impact, every detail was carefully finessed. Branches weren't just decoration either. They reacted to the Alpha's emotions, expanding when he got angry. That effect was handled by the character effects CFX team, who also gave the quill on his head a lifelike flutter. The Alpha even has a snake living inside him. Yes, really. Framestore originally planned a bigger reveal, but settled on a haunting shot where the snake mimics the Alpha's motion. Add to that hollow men on horseback and a toxic mist mutating everything it touches, and you've got a monster lineup that's creepy, wild, and weirdly beautiful. There is a high octane action sequence in the movie, too, where Drasa, portrayed by Anna Taylor, Joy has a fight off with Alpha the Hollow Man, and it is something spectacular. The fight used stunt doubles for both characters, but there was a catch. The prosthetics worn by the main Hollow Man performer and the stunt double weren't identical. Pieces would sometimes fall off mid-fight, which made continuity a bit of a headache. So Framestore came up with the solution. They built a unified CG version of the Alpha, based on the original prosthetics, allowing them to keep everything consistent throughout the scene. Drasa fights off the Alpha with a fiery torch, but that torch wasn't actually on fire during filming. Instead, she held an LED prop to mimic the glow and shadows of a real fire. Framestore later added digital flames and reactive lighting to make the CG Alpha look like it was actually being scorched by fire. Pretty slick, right? And the animation didn't stop there. The Alpha's body, especially the creepy branches and the strange quill-like feature on its head, was animated to react in real time, showing emotion and movement that made the fight feel alive. When Alpha gets angry, the branches on his body actually expand and splay outward. That dynamic movement wasn't done through regular rigging. Framestore's CFX team stepped in to animate how those branches reacted to his rage. All of this helped turn a practical fight into something that felt terrifyingly supernatural. Just after Drasa's fiery showdown with the Alpha, things don't exactly calm down. In fact, the action ramps up with a wild vertical escape sequence. Drasa and Levi, played by Miles Teller, try to flee up the sheer walls of the gorge in a jeep vertically, while a swarm of mutated creatures chase them from behind. The entire setup was shot on a blue screen stage using a real jeep mock-up. This allowed the actors to physically interact with the vehicle and get the right sense of tension and movement while Framestore handled everything else. From there, Framestore kicked into high gear, crafting the towering cliff face and all the chaos unfolding around it. The toxic fog was a key element, always shifting, always colored differently, and filled with mood and menace. As the creatures climb and leap, Framestore used full CG renderings to bring their unnatural, vine-covered bodies to life. These monsters weren't just slapped onto the background, they were tracked in, shadowed correctly, and even interacted with the Jeep's surface and the cliff edge. One standout detail was the mutated plant life on the creatures. Vines, skulls with wood-like textures, and even horse-maned vegetation were part of the surreal stampede climbing after the heroes. The result is a fast-paced, nerve-wracking sequence that blends real props, intense performances, and top-tier CG to make you feel like there's no way out. The Gorge received some mixed reactions from the audience, and it got an average rating of 5.9 out of 10, which isn't ideal. Some even called it a movie based on a video game that your younger brother obsessively plays. Ouch! That's a bit rough considering all the hard work that went into making it look as realistic as possible, don't you think? Tell me what your views in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for more interesting Galore Text videos. Thanks for watching.